Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It's great to be here as always. Thank you for tuning in. You're watching the VSO Gun Channel. My name's Kurt Hallstrom, and I'm your host as always. And unless you've been living under a rock, you will know that Donald Trump was scheduled to go on Joe Rogan last night, and he did that. Uh, there were a lot of people that said, oh, he doesn't have the stamina to do it. It'll only be there for like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, it was almost three hours. Uh, and because of that, I am almost all the way through it. I've got about 40 minutes left uh, of the podcast to listen to. And uh, in there, the Second Amendment discussion was invoked. And because of that, uh, I think as a viewer of a Second Amendment channel, you should be appraised of what was discussed and what was said. We'll take that and then we'll break down what was said and, and analyze it. And I just want to make sure that I am 100% clear that I intend to do this in a way to be as respectful as I possibly can of Mr. Rogan's content rights. This is obviously well within fair use, uh, but I want to make sure that if one of their team members is seeing this, that I'm going to take the finest snippet that I possibly can to get the point across, maintain the context so that everybody knows what was said. And on top of that, what I will tell you is that as someone who has listened to this, a lot of times when it comes to the political stuff, I say after like the town halls or the um, or, or the debates, I say, well, I suffered through this so you didn't have to. In this instance, I would say that that is not the case. This is quite possibly Donald Trump's best performance that I've ever seen as someone who is not a quote-unquote traditional Trump fan. I think this is the best performance that he has done. And I would also say that this is among the top shows that Joe has done. There's been some very nerdy ones that he's done before that I've really enjoyed. And this ranks up there. Uh, I think what it does is provide a different dimension on Trump that isn't always available because a lot of these interviews are shorter form uh, than he is capable of, or, or that excuse me, time allows him to do. Obviously, he's capable of doing a three-hour show, Exhibit A. It is my opinion that you should go watch that entire thing because there are some very interesting discussions in there. There are some great moments, and I, I think, again, it adds a dimension that is not often uh, available to us, the, the electorate, because of the time constraints of the various shows out there. So I highly recommend that you go watch that in its entirety. Again, I've got about 40 minutes left to go through, but I think I've got the Second Amendment stuff. And before we go to the sponsor slot, I'm, I'm going to give you an example of one of the uh, the the just Trumpisms to kind of whet your appetite a little bit and hope that you will go over and watch Joe's full show. And I like to sit with pilots a lot of times, and these guys are specimens. I always say they're better looking than Tom Cruise, okay? <laughs> and they're even taller, like perfect specimens. These guys, like for a fighter, you know, you have some guys that are perfect specimens. These right. Guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what you say to that. I mean, crack me up. There are multiple moments like this where I'm just driving down the road and all of a sudden I'm in a massive belly laugh, almost crash my truck type thing. Uh, so very informative, but also uh, very candid and funny. I highly recommend that you go see that. Let's get to our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Excess Sites. And normally I would give you a whole spiel about how I've been using them forever and they're my go-to site, but not today. Today we're talking about Glocktober, which is a month long sale at excess sites anything that they make that is related to glock accessories that is 10 percent off on top of that they've got a giveaway running so go over to excess check out what they got going on over there for glocktober it goes from the first of october through the 31st so go check it out thanks to excess for making today's video possible thanks for sticking through the sponsor slot what was actually said about the Second Amendment? To set it up a little bit, they're talking about the dangerousness of the job and, and things like that. And then Joe invokes that, you know, he's had two assassination attempts. Um, Imagine if there was a assassination attempts on Biden, how hard people would be attacking the right, how they would be trying to get guns taken away from people. They would try to ramp up gun laws. They would try to figure out some way to blame you. If there was a tax on, if Biden got shot in the ear, we would have never heard the end of it. Joe is absolutely correct. We never would have heard the end of it. We'd still be talking about it right now. And 
I, I guess what I would also say is they mentioned this in the interview, and I, again, edited it as tightly as I could to be respectful, but they say, yeah, they tried to get that out of the news cycle as quickly as possible. Well, to add to that discussion, I will tell you, as somebody who was covering the intricacies of that issue, because, hello, Second Amendment dude, right, that has a, a broad base of experience with those weapons, I can tell you that there was a clear point where it was no longer permissible to discuss this. We would pu publish a video, and it would be straight up trend line straight up. And then after that point had passed, straight horizontal, no views. It was clear that they just turned off all discussion of that and it was no longer allowed to be talked about. The news cycle had to move on because they, they knew it was not good for their chosen candidate because we all know how those political affiliations and alignments play in these sort of things. And yes, they did try their hardest to get that out. In fact, I would say that it probably lasted support for talking about the uh, that particular event in both instances lasted probably an extra week longer than it normally would have because of non-corporate uh, affiliated media personalities doing the diligence and actually talking about it. We still don't know a whole lot. We don't know a lot of what we should know as the American people about one of our leaders literally getting shot at. In fact, there was a uh, podcast, I think it was Theo Vaughn's podcast, I was watching uh, J.D. Vance, my senator, uh, discuss this particular thing. He's like, we still haven't gotten into one of the dude's phones. The stuff that we do know is because not the corporate media reported on it. They were flat out wrong in almost every single detail when it came to both of these incidents in the initial minutes and hours. It wasn't until the independent media sources like ourselves and people like Joe went out there and actually uncovered the details. And we know much of what we know today because of the scrutiny that that kind of uh, unaffiliated media puts on the people who do have the actual answers. I think that that is absolutely part and parcel of the suppression. And the reason the suppression was done is because it very rapidly became clear who it was that was behind those weapons. It wasn't the radical right-wingers. It wasn't the dudes that collect guns and like to shoot on the weekends. That's not who was behind the guns. What I will say about that is, to his credit, Donald Trump got shot. And did he get up and start talking about how we need to start taking people's guns away and how I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that to infringe on the Second Amendment rights of American citizens, even given his, in my opinion, piss-poor record, on the Second Amendment, uh, I mean, we don't need to replay the clips. We've seen them before, many times on this channel. He has made plenty of mistakes when it comes to the Second Amendment. He did not say, hey, we need to take all the Democrats' guns away. He didn't go there. Where did he lay the blame? I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. They talk about democracy i'm a threat to democracy they're the threat to democracy do you think donald trump is a fascist yes i do yes i do squarely where it belongs that's all i got for you guys today happy saturday everybody i will have a link to the full joe rogan podcast here on youtube for you guys to check out again i highly highly recommend that you guys go listen to it i'm going to finish it up and thanks for watching hopefully we'll see you on another video here at the vso gun channel let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Also, Joe, you need a dude to come on and talk about guns. I'm your guy. Anytime, brother. Anytime.